Yate, everybody out there, would like to welcome you to my home here as I uh, continue my episodes um, on teaching how to work with wool and um, the traditional way that we do it here in Dinetra or Navajo land. And again, my name is Albert Brent Chase, and I'm a language, Diné language, and cultural instructor. Uh, here in some of the schools on the reservation and off the reservation. So I've had the last episode which was of carding the wool. Now we're going to move on to spinning the wool. With the carder we have made these rolls of wool with the carder. And so now this is going to end up on the spindle as this will turn into a string. And so the tool that we use, uh, we call it be'etize, meaning the one you spin with, be'etize. And they're like this. As you can see, I've already started some. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, uh, continue on the spindle. And so this is called be'etize and uh, spindle, Navajo hand spindle. And so I am going to grab the part that I have already uh, fin started. And so I'm going to take that string and I'm going to take it onto this fluffy carded wool. And so what I'm going to do, the best way I know how to learn and how I've learned it is I would just put the already sp spun string and then I would sandwich it into the new fluffy one and I would hold it right there and then I would take in my spindle and my workspace is going to be from the tip of the spindle here to about maybe two inches here is where my workspace of putting it together is going to be and it'll be taking a while to learn this part but once you learn it it's very therapeutic to be able to work with the spindle. So you just gently let the spindle work. Turn the spindle on your knees. And as you can see, I'm beginning to spin the, the string into the new wool. And I am going to just gently you got to have very soft touch, a very soft touch when you're doing this part. And when you're learning, you want to just kind of perfect this. When you get better at it, you're going to get faster with it. Sometimes you will have a lot of bumps like that, but that's okay. We all start from somewhere and we don't do it perfect. I myself still do the same. And so I spin it in, make sure that it's spun together good. Okay, and then I'm going to reel it in. And then I'm going to continue to work with the fluff. And so I gently let the spindle work. Sometimes it'll get caught here. You just have to watch it. Spin it a little bit at a time. And as you begin to see, it's going to start stretching very gently. You just kind of tug at it, tug at it, not too hard, just tug at it. And then even it out a little bit. Okay, and then let the spindle do the rest of the work. I'm tugging at it very gently still. You can, if you want to have a little thicker string, this is where you can stop. And then you can spin it more tighter with the hand spindle. I'm working with a little bit thinner, so I keep going a little bit. And then I would spin maybe a little bit like that to get a little bit more spinning in there and it starts stretching even more because I'm almost at the desired uh, thinness. I like that. So now 
I'm gonna put my spindle here at the tip of my knee and you're gonna roll it and let it get caught in your thumb. Again, roll, catch, roll, catch. If you have to do it that slow while you're learning, do it, okay? And once you get real good at it, watch. That's what you do. And see, this is what I want right there. Then you put the spindle to the ground and then you turn it as you reel in the portion that you have just bung. And as you can see, I have a lot more left. And so I will continue to do this until I finish and then I will connect some more. Good luck everyone, have fun. If you need a hand spindle, I will give you information of where you can uh, buy it from us. We make them and specially made for you. So have fun. Ahyahat. <laughs>